In this day and age of big data, data privacy, and user control due to GDPR regulation, there's a lot of ways we can now get our data back out of the services that we've been submitting to for years and years. A lot of us overshare quite a lot, and especially when it comes to our sporting activities, Strava know what you did last summer and the summer before that and before that as well. They know a lot about you. There are a few ways we can get our data back out of Strava to give us a little bit more control over the data we've given them so we can do what we like with it. So first up, why can't we just keep submitting all our data to all these cloud services and let them take care of it? Well, that's the big problem. We are trusting them to take care of it. What happens if that service doesn't exist tomorrow? What happens if they change the policy and we have to pay twice as much to access our data? Not really that handy and kind of scary in this day and age of submitting so many things up online. So with GDPR, there are regulations that mean that we can have access to our data and we are in full control of that. So this is quite important. So onto a few reasons of why I wanna do this. Well, first of all, it's a backup of my data. I've collected data from multiple devices over the years and submitted them to the cloud service. I don't have a central point where I can get to them. So getting this file or the export file from Strava, I can download it in one place and put it up on OneDrive, iCloud, Google Drive, somewhere for safekeeping, just in case Strava goes away one day or wants to charge us double for the premium or something like that. Look, I'm doomsdaying it, but again, I want that full control in case that happens. And having all your activity history in one place is an absolute goldmine for a number of reasons. If you wanted to export and import into another app or another platform, you can do that, no problems at all. But more importantly, if you were to take on a new coach and they wanted to have a look at your training history, your personal best performances, your response to training, the training sessions that you've been doing, everything, it's all there in one spot. They can grab this big glob of data, put it into their system and know a lot about you, probably more than you know about yourself and your own training. And thirdly, with this, you can export previous routes. So you can upload them to head units, read ride them yourself with navigation, or maybe even indoors on a trainer. Jumping over to the Strava support page, which lists all the ways you can export your data individually or in bulk. First up, the GPX files, you can export, well, you can do that via the activity anyway. You've probably seen that on the menu within Strava activities. You can export GPX or other people's rides as GPX and import them as uh, routes to ride. Not a lot of information supplied there. A little bit of confusion here on the page from Strava saying the GPX files exported from Strava will contain power data recorded with a power meter, but not estimated power, the algorithms they use. And the next sentence down here says this feature does not export power data. Not quite sure what the deal is there, but don't expect power data in a GPX file. Um, and as they mentioned here, it can be downloaded onto a Garmin device with route tracking functionality like a Garmin 800. Garmin 800, nobody has those anymore. This article is from 2012. Next up, TCX export. Now these aren't on the menu, they're a little bit of a hidden feature to export TCX. They do claim it does include power data, but don't expect everything from the TCX. So to grab a copy of a TCX file, you need to go to your activity, which is listed here with the number at the end, and put slash export underbar TCX at the end of that. Press enter on the web page, it'll download the TCX file to your computer. Not really that handy, but if you want routes with power, away you go. The real interesting ones are to export original. Now, Exporting original will grab the file that's been uploaded from your device. So for example, the fit files on the Garmin Edge 520, fit files on the Element Bolt, the fit files, nobody uses the 800 anymore. Directly from your device, you can download that original file back off and do what you need to do with that file. Super, super cool. So to get that, that's just simply a slash export original at the end of an activity and bang, you've got your fit file. I do use this regularly myself to download fit files from Strava and import them into my favorite website, DC Runmaker's analysis tool. And lastly, and more importantly, the bulk export of everything you've submitted to Strava. Now this is pretty comprehensive. There's an update here on the website stating as of May 25th, probably just in time for GDPR, uh, Strava provides the option to export an archive of your content. Now this is literally everything you've ever submitted to Strava, which is pretty cool. It lists how to go and do that, but it starts off pretty morbidly. Number one, log into the account on Strava that you wish to delete. I don't want to delete my account. I just want access to my data. People run multiple platforms. If you want to run Garmin Connect or you want to run Training Peaks yourself and still upload everything to Strava, Strava is a social platform, not really a data analysis platform. But if we want to pull everything out, we don't need to delete our accounts. So the wording there is a little scary, but don't let that put you off. You can grab all of your data without starting the process of deleting your account. There's many reasons why you want to grab your data. I think that just needs a little bit of a rewording on that website. Okay, over to the process of actually downloading all your data without deleting your account. Jumping over to my profile here, it's under account settings. 
under my account. You scroll down to, and again, scary words on screen, download or delete your account. Click on get started. What this means, there's a lot of warnings around there because yes, just below you can delete your account, but it's the download request. Number two is what you're after to download the archive. So you can request your archive, you click that button there, and within a few minutes, they'll archive up everything and send you a link for you to download. And you don't need to complete step three. So what took place the other day, I downloaded all my content. My archive ended up being 770 megabytes, quite a lot. I'll pull that up on screen here. So what we have there is a list of activities. So I have 1900 and something activities. Every single file in original format that I've uploaded to Strava. I can now got a copy of those, brilliant. In there, there's also some CSVs, comet separated variables. So if you wanna geek out and import them into other systems, there's CSVs. What they look like is, um, so for example, let's go for activities. Bang, CSV, great, cool. Don't really need them unless you're doing something kind of interesting with them importing, but they're there, all your data is there. The bulk of my archive size, I think was all in the photos there. So let's have a quick look at the size comparison there. Yeah, so 577 megabytes of photos and only 184 megabytes of activities, but I do have those all in one place. So looking at quick browse of those photos of what they've saved over the years. Yep, that's my foot. Yep, that's primarily Zwift rides. So yep, they're all my photos archived over the years. Oh, some sheep patrols, some Perth action there on the bike, some mountain biking off road stuff from a while back. It's all there, rock and roll. Ah, Mount Pleasant, fantastic route there in Melbourne. So there we are, an overview of exporting your data either individually or in bulk from Strava, which gives you a lot more power over what you've submitted to that service. So kudos to Strava for allowing us to do that. It is part of the GDPR requirement, but it's kind of handy having it there. And that archive came through pretty quick. So there we are, grab a copy of your data, back it up somewhere just so you got a copy because you never know what's around the corner. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back with more soon.